All right, everyone. Hello to uh, my next tutorial uh, about like general components that I've been developing for myself for multiple different apps. Um, this one is a pretty nice one. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. Um, it's pretty much a wall that will keep you from passing. So if you if you create an object and you say, I don't want anyone to pass this wall, not at all. You would attach this component to it with no extra parameters, nothing like you don't have to give any information. You just say impassable and it will no longer be passable. So pretty much the example of, is this. If somebody walks up next to it, nothing happens. It, you can move around it. There's no issue with that. But the moment your head collides with it and gets too close, it creates this box. And it's you'll think this box isn't anything, but basically, as you'll see, my cursor is green. Your cursor has to be blue in order to teleport, so basically your cursor is interacting with this box, and it's keeping you from clicking around the box, and it's on all sides. It's above you, left, right, it's actually behind you, even though you'll never see that. So there's literally no way for you to get through this box. You pop your head back out, warning's done. So, yeah, it's it's pretty simple looking, like, in here, and it's basically like, if you want to define permanent boundaries in a room and you do not want people outside of those boundaries, well, here's your chance. Um, technically, someone could still beat this by walking through your block and then walking in the real world all the way through the block onto the or out of the other side because then the warning will disappear and they can teleport to the ground on the other side. So make sure that it's thick enough to be bigger than most people's um, real life rooms. And most people's real life rooms are not bigger than like eight feet. So I believe I've made this five meters, which is, yeah, a lot more than eight feet. So you could probably make a cube a little about, about half the size. I'm assuming a three by three by three cube would be big enough to keep people out. Three meters, I think, is about nine feet or so, which is bigger than most people's rooms. And if you want to go bigger, you can. But yeah. Anyways, let's dive into the code. Enough blabbing. Uh, that's the JavaScript. You don't need to see that. Okay. So, relatively simple. Um, all you need is a frame and your SDK information. Uh, pretty much, we're creating a whole bunch of different cubes that are at this point are currently invisible when the scene is created, and then they're going to be greatly manipulated by a massive block of code over here. But it's all tiled. It's relatively simple. Um, and then pretty much you just create an object, name it, everything like that. And then you just put in passable, and it's not passable anymore. The only other thing you would require is you need to create an image ID or a image asset with an ID of warning, and give it a source of whatever you want. In this case, it's ba that's basically the picture. So in this case, it's that relatively simple looking warning. Um, you could put whatever image you want there. I don't care. Use this however you like. Or honestly, I don't have any like you can't use my warning picture so if you want you can use that link as long as it's there it should work and i don't have any qualms with you using my warning um so yeah just create a no tp bot top left right front and back box with material visibility set to false that's all you need to do in the beginning and then your impassable information um the gist of this code is that it makes it so when your face collides and enters the object it will take no tp top and set its position scale and uh, give it a picture make it visible opacity and then parent it to your body and make it so you can't click it and that's i know that might be a little confusing for those of you that don't understand javascript but it just it attaches all of these attributes to the object that make it look the way that it does instead of just being an invisible empty entity and it just tiles that it does that for every side moving them slightly and scaling them differently according to what side of their body that they're, of your body that they're on so it just does that about six times and when you leave the object it just makes it really really like literally non-existent size and invisible so on the off chance that there's some little tiny laser beam in the middle of your screen it'll make it invisible too not to mention actually setting an object's opacity more than once will stack instead of just changing the value. So if I set its opacity of 0.5 and I don't set it to 0, it will add 0.5 to it and make it perfectly solid the next time. 
And adding that slight opacity, it kind of helps people understand what happened so they can at least see through and they might be able to see the detail of the ground as opposed to just making a permanent red box like completely solid. That, that'd be a, I'm assuming that'd be a little disorienting. But yeah, and that just sets each and every block that around you to tiny and invisible. So yeah, this one's relatively simple. Just make sure you name all of these correctly and obviously make sure you define that warning image in an assets uh, tag, I guess. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm hoping someone can benefit from this other than me, because I think this is a pretty nice way to keep people out of places you don't want them in. And, yeah, that, that's about it. I hope you guys have a good one, and obviously do all that nice YouTube shizzle of likey, commenty, subscribey, all that stuff. And I will probably have another video, well, I don't know, one day. We'll see. Hopefully weekly, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, ta-ta. See you later.